we can't be complacent about our health and we can't be complacent when the, when the government is spending taxpayers' money on mass medication and some would even say mass poisoning. It is quite alarming, it is quite alarming, it is quite alarming to realise that we in Ireland have one of the highest cancer rates in Europe. Our studies involve comparing the deaths of all persons in the 10 largest fluoridated cities of the United States with the 10 largest non-fluoridated cities in the United States year by year. Now this sir, is conclusive evidence that fluor kills because of cancer. It is one of the most conclusive bits of scientific and biological evidence that I have come across in my 50 years in the field of cancer research. So who's next to look at the HSE? They've never done any toxicological assessments on this substance and they have never done a total dietary fluoride, fluoride exposure on the population to find out you know, how much fluoride we're actually getting exposed to. The Irish expert body in fluorides and health. Those supposed experts <clears throat> consist of dentists, management in the Department of Health, ministerial nominees, CEOs at the Health Board, consumer association representatives, ethics people. What there's none of, what there's no experts of as far as I'm aware, medical doctors, immunologists, cardiologists, epidemiologists, neurologists, pathologists, paediatricians, pharmacologists, environmental scientists, fisheries experts. And I believe only very recently they put a toxicologist on, the, um, on that panel. Patricia speaking. Patricia, how are you? Stephen is my name. Um, Hi. I'm just wondering, do you look after the, uh, the expert body in fluorides and health, Patricia? Uh, with the secretariat for the expert body, yeah. Ah, secretary. Oh, grand. Yeah, I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm just, yeah. I'm just looking on the, um, just had a query uh, in relation to it. I'm just on the website here for the expert sure. body. Um, okay. I'm just reading part 12 here. It just says who regulates drinking water additives in Ireland. Um, the HSC is ultimately responsible for the fluoridation of water supplies. However, as the overall functions of sourcing, treatment and distribution of water for drinking rest with the water services authorities, county and city councils, these bodies undertake fluoridation on an agency basis. I'm just wondering, the, the actual, I suppose, the definition of, of the word agency in, in that sentence, as in, have they f full liability as with, with any claims um, that might arise due, due to adverse health effects, I suppose, or ethical issues, stuff like that. Uh, with that rest of the agency. Exactly. Um, well, I suppose it would depend on what the, the issue is, I suppose. I'm just looking at another thing here, um, you might be able to help me with it. Yeah. It's, uh, it just says, it's an EU regulation, EC 1907-2006. It just says, yeah. EU reach regulations for registration, evaluation, authorization, and restriction of chemicals. Member states and end users of chemicals, which I understand includes local authorities, are, requ are required to undertake risk assessments of the use of chemicals and to quantify the human health and environmental risk of exposure to chemicals. Where toxicological information is lacking, end users can seek additional toxicological assessments and if the information is not available, they are required to comply with the precautionary principle. And that's in, that's in relation to end users, and end yeah. user, I presume, would be the county council, city council, as an agency. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I suppose yeah. under them EU regulations there, it is saying that the, the um, county council or the end user... Um, uh, they would comply with them. The, yeah, so, so yeah. therefore they may be liable in that sense, would they? Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I would think so, yeah. Clinical medical studies have shown 
that a percentage of the population are intolerant to fluoride, and it could be anything between one and five percent of the population. Maybe an accidental. Neurological problems, cardiovascular problems, uh, dermatological problems. Maybe an accidental. Osteoporosis, for instance, is, is documented scientifically, medically, to be linked to fluoride. Um, and that includes chronic musculoskeletal pain and we have one of the highest levels of chronic musculoskeletal pain in the world. Hello, um, how are you doing? I'd like, to, Hi. I'd like to highlight an issue please. Yeah, what is it? Um, sorry, is this Siobhan? Siobhan, how are you doing? Uh, Siobhan, you're, the, you're still the series producer on Lifeline. I am indeed. I can't go through with you in two minutes here about editorial decisions of Liveline. You can give me an idea of how we can... Of editor different editorial decisions you can... with different reasons why we cover different things on any given day. Siobhan, do you get the fine... We do have your details. It is in our phone box system here. And I am sure there will be some stage on this program that I am ringing you back to talk on air. Siobhan, do you get the final decision on, on what topics are covered on Liveline? No, I don't. So there's someone above you who, who decides? Everybody here in this, because every producer on this program makes a decision on any given day on what things we're going to cover on the program. And the, series, and the series producer will will have the final decision, will they? Well, yes, I would have the final okay. decision. If we are covering the subject, I, you'll be the first person I ring back. Okay, well, you're, you're, right. you're, you're aware of the issue now anyway, Siobhan, okay? I am indeed. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you, Stephen. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye. Okay, bye. Hi, Pat. We're the only country in Europe to use fluoride in water, and certainly we don't have the best teeth. It would be great to have a debate on it. Many of us don't want mass medication, says Anya. I'd be very happy to, to host a debate, but we'll do a bit of research on the literature as well, so we're informed uh, before we start the debate. I agree with paying water tax, but I don't want to be forcefully medicated with fluoride. Another one there. Please, government, cease now fluoridating my water. Stay RTE! I will support yeah. any proposal to scrap this that will come before Cabinet. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt yeah, about that. Yeah, I'm brilliant. totally yeah. assured of that. Mm. Between fluoride and between everything. It's like yeah. a cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. drink a little yeah. hold of chemicals yeah. when you yeah. drink them, yeah. I never drink water yeah. off the tap.